Right folks, not sure of the date, I think it's the 7th, or it could be the 8th of December 2023. I've come for a walk up up to the Robbery Woods, the other end, the fore end, this Burnbeck Pier end I could say as well. It's Burnbeck Pier. And um, it's a window of without heavy rain and cold or anything like that today. It's windy, but it's not heavy rain today. It could be by four o'clock though, so I know I need to do the wood now. Bit of a delay. I've been doing studying, um, looking at the archaeology recently done by Cambridge University. Looking at medieval Cambridge. Of course, I have people might know who know anything about my tree that we have ancestors from the Cambridge area and the surrounding villages. I have ancestors who went to Cambridge University in the time of Henry VIII and Elizabeth I. Anyway, they dug up a load of skeletons that under the ground where once there were priories, uh, a St Augustine priory, a friary and a castle. The bodies were still under the ground from those from a long back and they also looked at uh, a comparison with Neolithics and Iron Age people uh, on the skeleton. So with modern technology they can do isotope they can look at structure of the proteins in the bones they can look at damage from what sort of work they did or if they were killed in a fight they can age the bones it says an awful lot they've picked what they've done they've done a profile on quite a few people from some of the graves using all those techniques dna everything and uh, I'm very interested in that, so I've been making copies, and they've got a really good um, artist who does um, representation of people. And they've all the bodies they found have been numbered, but they also gave them a name, even though it wasn't their proper name. Nobody would have known their name. And they've done all sorts of. They found all sorts of people from quite well-off people to very poor people, people and, and it's mainly based around the plague as well. There were some plagues from the 11th to the 15th century, different diseases. They can identify all that. They can even identify the bacteria of the of leprosy and, and of um, the plague. It's in the DNA. It lives in the DNA. The DNA of fungi can live in your bones as well. So it's all very interesting, really. Anyway, I'm very interested. It ties up well with my family tree stuff because we have people from the Cambridge area. They mention Clare, where, of course, I've mentioned before, we've got the, uh, the de Clare family in my tree. Um, and they had a priory, which I have visited and videoed and photographed. I've been to Cambridge several times. But of course now, if I go to Cambridge now, which I'd love to do, um, I'm wheelless, I've been wheelless for five years now. So my actual trips around the country have almost come to a stop. So I've got no transport for going out in the sticks and that. And economic climate is really, really bad at the moment. Everything costs so much. Anyway, Cambridge University, yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it ties up with my family tree very well because I've got quite a few links, lots and lots of links to Cambridge and the surrounding villages. And people who contributed to some of the colleges and University of Cambridge. It ties up really well because I've just done a whole course with Cambridge University on death and burial. 
I did that in the autumn, early autumn. I did a course on that. That was a global thing. But what's good about Cambridge University is homing in on my ancestral lands. For example, I want to find out what happened about the dig at Clare that they done. Uh, I want to know more about that. I'm hoping that I can find that on their on their website as well. The declares. So I'm always very very busy. I don't really get bored. In fact, I can't keep awake half the time to do a lot of the stuff now, um, which is very annoying. And <laughs> trying to and I don't know who wants any of it. I mean, the stuff on the tree, that's universal now and shared around the globe. But I've got personal folders, I've got lots and lots and lots of stuff. Video footage, photographs, documents, certificates, leaflets. I have so much stuff, but I don't know who wants it. Um, the big archives, they tend to just want, if you've got any gold, they'll have that. They just really want it all done in a digitalised form. Um, they're not really interested in personal folders. So I've got all these very personal and private folders that I've put together, full of information that's taken me years to gather. And I, I want to be, I don't know who to leave it to. None of my children, as far as is interested, but she's got her own stuff. None of my grandchildren, none of them have shown an interest. I mean, I did get them all DNA tested and they, I've put, started trees for them. But some of them, you see, they've uh, already deleted parts of the tree that I spent hours putting on for them. Yeah, I think they did it by accident, by the way. Do you? Yeah, I think they did it by accident. Yeah, they did it by accident. <sighs> Just waiting for a bloke of hoodies to go by further up at the moment before I go on. He's not walking very quick. I'll let him go on before I pass. You have got to be careful when you're up here and there's no one about at the moment. There was some people a bit earlier. I'll just wait for him to move on. Um, and then, I'll, then I'll go on. It gets dark early now as well, so I've got to get round this bit before... Um, it gets dark. Now, no crows have turned up yet. I've got some biscuits in my pocket for them but none have turned up yet of course I stick out like a sore thumb with my red coat on I look like little red riding hood with this on yeah so like I said I've got a lot to do through the winter I've still got loads and loads and loads to do and of course I've got all messages to answer I've got people on the DNA site following after me the tree is not getting less, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm trying to fill in lots and lots of gaps. It's, it takes such a long time to do it all. And then you've got to verify it to make sure it's the right branch. And it's so easy to make an error and when you get tired you have to stop. Now this little thing with Cambridge University is a bit of a diversion for me. But it is all relevant. Medieval Cambridge is very relevant to, to me and my family. I miss having somebody really to bounce off with the tree, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't belong to any organisation apart from Ancestry and people who contact me on Ancestry. Um, I don't know where he's gone, that bloke now. Right, I've been rambling on folks, I'm going to turn off now. We're up in Worldbury Woods. Here's the 
area that's been exposed more, trees have been cut down, lots of cut up trees everywhere. You never used to be able to see through here at all. One good thing I suppose the fact that it has been cleared a bit is that you can see. That you can see in advance. I am going to go over this way actually. Just to have a look over here. I'm going to turn off. I can always split this um, video in half. I mean, I quite often, this is a reflective journal, don't forget, and a visual diary. So if I'm, that's up to me if I want to ramble. I've, it's not, I'm not doing it, it's not a public thing really, and I share sometimes. But basically, I've got a lot, I'm very, very busy person, but getting older and getting more tired. It's harder for me now to keep the energy levels up, but I've made myself come out today. So I haven't really been for a walk since I was last up the wood, uh, about a week ago. Uh, the, the bus services and train services are all very unreliable now. The trains are on strike nearly every other day. Um, the weather's been really bad. I've got I, no way I can get out on the Mendips properly anymore. There's a, a bus that hardly runs at all. And I basically, I don't want to be hanging about in the cold. So I've had to restrict myself to very local walks. And obviously I love the wood. I've got sand bay. It gets dark early now, so I have to try and, I've got to try and think about getting out earlier. You know what I mean? I mean, this is late. This will be sort of half past two going on for three in a minute. Right, over and out.